How's it going, guys? So uh, just uh, connecting this right now. And as I do, I'll introduce the company. So my name is Victor. I'm the co-founder of Soshi. So imagine tomorrow morning you go to your favorite coffee shop and you order a cup of coffee. You then take a picture of the coffee, share it on Instagram, and then the next day you go back and they give you a free coffee. That's basically Soshi. So our technology basically turns the entire social media into an amazing loyalty program. And that's because recommendations drive sales. So I'll show you guys exactly how it works as this turns on, uh, as it's doing that. Uh, we can talk a little bit about some numbers. So we're, we've been around for about six months now. We're in 75 locations, about 40 brands in Boston, mainly restaurants. Um, there are about 500 activities completed a day through Sochi. So we've got great brands like JP Licks, Tasty Burger, Max Brenner. Uh, about 70% of all JP Licks's social activity comes through us. We increase sales for Max Brenner by 8.5%. We double Tasty Burger's social media on a whole. Uh, so we increased it by 100%. And yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Uh, I would love to show you guys what it actually looks like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. It was on a second ago. Um, Do you want another Mac? Uh, yeah, another Mac would work. Another Mac would work. Let's see. So yeah, that's it. No, no. We're gonna we're gonna get it up. We're gonna get it. The survey guy's gonna help. Uh, so yeah, so actually we actually did something cool when you guys uh, I was gonna say it at the end of the presentation, but we actually put um, Boston New Tech on Sochi for today. So all you guys are like. Um, suggested to go out and tweet about them when well, we actually put them on the app and Tasty Burger was kind enough to sponsor rewards. So if anyone goes on and downloads Sochi and I think it's turning on and recommends Boston New Tech or something, they'll actually get a free cheeseburger. So you can do that through Sochi. So yeah, all right, let's see uh, how it turned on. I don't know. Is this a new computer? No, this is mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was getting a new one. I don't know. Okay. I mean, this definitely go. This is definitely like a, t a top ten presentation. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. I right, could do it this way. So. Um, yeah. All right. Let's plug this in. All right. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see the uh, actual app. Unfortunately, but uh, I can log you in. Yeah, I don't know. No, truth is, I don't think it's going to work, man. I've got an no, it's not going to work. You need an iPad? No, you'd have to have the app. Does anyone have a MacBook charger? I don't know. You have a charger? All right, let's see if it works. It might work. If it doesn't work, I guess. All right, let's see. All right. I left it at home. All right, we got it. We got it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no. Uh, what happened was I actually had dropped my computer yesterday, so I'm supposed to get like eight hours of battery life. I get eight minutes. So that's the problem. Let's see. Yeah, trust this computer. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, if it doesn't load, you guys are just going to have to take my word for it that this is like the, greatest, <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest app that ever existed. But yeah, um, there are so many places that you can do it at, and it really makes so much sense because recommendations drive just about everyone's purchase behavior, with the exception of a few other things, and that's exactly what Sochi drives. Uh, over, in six months, over 40,000 social activities have been completed for us. Uh, so I was about to show you Tasty Burger back and they've been live for like three months and over uh, I think 6,000 activities have been completed and activity happens on social like every six minutes or something like that. So we're growing pretty fast. Faster than this computer is growing. Oh yeah, yeah, I want to open my computer. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's where my company's going to be if I don't get this presentation. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, all right, so I'll go into like shout out mode while we're doing this. So thanks to the Hive, the big fan, big fan. I use Hive all the time. You know? uh, all right. All right, it's loading up. So yeah, so the story was I was getting out of my car and I dropped the computer, and you know, this is what happened. 
Okay, no, you know what I should do? The business model. That's what we should do. Because he emailed us and make sure you talk about the business model. So, the business model is unbelievable. Uh, I love it. So, no, it's, actually, it's actually super innovative. It got us, uh, we were like finalists for Techstars without even a company, just for the business model. So, so we go to, let's say, uh, a large brand, like let's say Chipotle, and we tell them, instead of uh, paying for a Google ad or for a Facebook ad on the side of the page, which their click-through rate's like 0.002%, which is zero, basically, you can pay us to generate, let's say, an Instagram status, I mean, an Instagram share, or a like, or a Facebook upload. So because we can generate every single activity on social media, a business can actually pay us uh, only after uh, something's actually done. So it's like performance-based uh, social activity. So it's like a cost per social activity. Um, yeah, so it's pretty great. So let's see. All right, so say no to everything. Okay. Thanks, Chris and uh, Dave, for being so flexible. Um, I know I have. I know you agreed to give me 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Do you guys see my screen? You see my screen. All right. So. Uh, I'm going to launch an app called Air Server, which uh, you guys, anyone who owns an app, should check it out and it'll let me demo what's on my computer. Everyone's on my iPhone. Computer so let's say Air Server looks on. And we're going to be on just like that. All right, how are we looking? All right. Hold on. Quick round of applause for me for getting this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You should give me some of that formula. <laughs> all right. So, in all seriousness, okay. So this is Sochi. So basically, these are my favorite places. I partnered with them. Uh, you might recognize some of them. And uh, these are all our clients. So let's say I click Tasty Burger, right? So now these are all the different activities that I can actually do for Tasty Burger. So what this does is obviously generate social recommendations for them, which is huge. Um, so for example, say I go to Facebook status, uh, tell your friends what you love about Tasty, and I can write, fucking great burger, <laughs> right? I know, and what this really does is it's realistic recommendations, it's not like an automatic, <laughs> it is, right? I mean, if I go to Tasty, that's what I'm gonna tell my friend. I'm not gonna say, oh, uh, you know, automatically generated share. So, uh, it automatically includes the app on the bottom, and I click post, and I get 100 points. It's pushed down because of the personal hotspot. So I get 100 points for that, right? So that goes to my feed. Nobody knows it came from Sochi, so it's a real recommendation for Tasty. And then I go back, and I click free stuff, and I got all these things that they give me. So if I do this you know, a couple more times, I get free fries, free cheeseburger, free turkey burger, just for being on the app, free small fries. So for them, it's a way for that, for a tasty burger to pay for uh, word of mouth advertising in kind. Uh, and yeah, we doubled their social media, we increased sales, I told you about all that. And so, so that's that. And then if I go to the actual back end, where Chrome actually loads, I don't know, my computer's just a disaster right now. Okay, <laughs> so uh, what makes the technology so cool is we use a very, very, very low level, um, we work with the APIs at a very, very, very low level. So for example, that Facebook status, we actually track, we pull it in and we present it to the business so Tasty Burger can see all of the Facebook statuses. We know how many people uh, saw the Facebook status, how many people liked on it, how many, how many people commented on it, 30 seconds. Uh, we know if the user deleted the Facebook status. So we actually track and confirm we can literally monetize uh, social media activities. And we can incentivize just about anything. So if I can get this up real quick, I'm putting down the mic, hold on. Yeah, all right, let's see. So we go to Sochi, go to login. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can show you a Tasty Burger so we can see all the things that people are doing. Um, yeah, so if I go to overview. So this is the campaign designer, it's all like drag and drop. Uh, this is gonna be a news feed of things that are actually happening for Tasty. This is like right now, so uh, past 24 hours. And then if I click on content, you can see, so they have, right, so for about 4,500 activities, and these are all the things that people are doing 
tasty. Uh, so this is like uh, today, I guess, January 22nd, so I'm gonna upload a photo there. This person uploaded that. And yeah, we can see all the Facebook photos, Instagram follows, and uh, yeah, it's great. It's great for them. Thank you. Wow, got a mention. A Park, okay. Question. Yeah, so first of all, we have a minimum. You have to have, uh, for each social network, a minimum follower count that we check. So like for Instagram, you need to have at least 35 followers so we know that you're legit, no fake accounts. We do track how many likes and comments are on each post, similar to what a clout would do, but we haven't actually put that to use yet, uh, other than listing uh, users by most engaging. But it's in the plans to perhaps reward people who are actually more influential. Yes? localized anyway so that you know you don't have somebody coming over from Indonesia next year and eating for free for a week. Uh, um, so you're saying what would the example be like someone flies in from Indonesia? Well, well, you know that somebody, if they're not from Boston, they're, they're not doing tasting Right, well, so it really works. Um, it works well with social media because we're very conscious, self-conscious about what we post on social media. So I don't think the Indonesian is going to be talking about Tasty Burger, but you know what? If he did, honestly, if he did, the Tasty Burger would be fine with it because it's a recommendation, and maybe you know this guy's a worldly guy. He's a worldly Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> He's got friends in Boston. All right. uh, uh, yeah. Hi, man. Um, it's sort of almost dystopian view of sort of social recommendations, where you're always going to be wondering, did my really friends really recommend Tasty Burger, or is he just? And if it's free food, I mean, it's, it's sort yeah. of like hidden, bribed ads, a little extreme. So, one thing, that, one thing that's different is we give it a very human component so you can enter in your own text. So that's number one. So we immediately disarm the share this for this by doing that. And also we found that people don't do 50 activities. The average person does a couple a week. So to make a couple of recommendations a week, is it's not that much. So what we found is people are actually very protective of their social media. So maybe we've gotten lucky, but people really don't spam it, you know? They, they use it with respect, I guess. Yeah. Have you ever had uh, a brand that get flagged from you? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and just uh, one more thing. We get that ask, question asked a lot. Um, people typically will refrain from posting something that they really don't believe is actually good. Like, they'll look like an idiot, you know what I mean, if they promote a crappy company or, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever gotten brand, brand flag from usual activities? Oh yeah, we have a, an amazing system. So uh, you can actually, I, I can remove content. So if I'm a Joshua Andrew Clement post something, I can click it. I'm not gonna actually remove it. I, it deletes his points, um, and then we we don't have this implemented. I mean, it's implemented, but it's not active. We can actually delete it from his page, also. But we don't know if we want to go down that road. And then we can also ban a user. So we create a unique identifier from Sochi that we attach to each person's iPhone. Um, we install it and uh, they can't, uh, you know, so if we ban them, you can't get Sochi unless you buy a new iPhone. So it's 200 bucks though, it might be worth it. <laughs> it is Sochi, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so she asked, so we use a very low level, uh, we work with the APIs at a very low level. So we have some custom processes, like for Instagram, you can't actually track and confirm, I mean, you can't post something through Sochi to Instagram. So, for example, I mean, Instagram just doesn't let you do that. So how do we incentivize an Instagram? So we automatically include a couple hashtags in the Instagram post, and then we have a process that checks Instagram, you know, a user's most recent Instagram, and if it has the post, and if it came up within the last 60 seconds. Something like that. So that's what I mean by low level. So we have a lot of custom processes that work with um, with a lot of these APIs. And yeah, we don't just use share things. He's telling me I'm going to be decapitated. But one more question. Go. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Um, so at least businesses like also essentially advertise Sochi. Like don't recommend us, but recommend us through Sochi. Like how are you just discovering the app? Yeah. So we use the businesses find out their loyal customers, and then through them they onboard them into Sochi. So uh, our whole thing is don't reach out, really, don't try and pitch new customers, you know, use your loyal customers to get new customers. 
So that's what they do. So they have their kind of army, you know, their hive. And then, uh, and then through there. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you. Join Boston New Technology Meetup, sponsor an event or a venue, present your idea, and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.